to another Monday Night Gaming. I'm your host Chris Sheriff. So today we're going to be playing some Mansions of Madness again and um, I'm going to be doing it at home because nobody turned up to do it at the Sentry Box. So I'm going to throw it over to a table where we're mostly set up and then we'll get on with the game. Give me a second. Can you just talk, Joe, to make sure? Um, yes, I can. Yeah, I think it's working. Oh. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Is it live enough? It'll be fine, yeah. That's, I'm sure it'll tell us if it's not working properly. Let me put the chat on my phone so I can monitor. A strange feeling crawls across your skin as you step off the bus into the small Massachusetts town of Innsmouth. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, you can feel the gaze of the locals' unblinking, watery eyes on your back. In every alleyway, on every street corner, you can feel the presence of the stood, pallid residents following. The ratty hole in the wall and the back street should have a time place. Street, street two. Outside the hotel, the street stretches up to the hill towards the centre of town. There's a side token as indicated. It's over here. The street continues to the east, past the storefront, where's the side token as indicated. To the west, the street narrows in finale that stretches along the side of the hotel, where's the side token as indicated. Mm. It's only 
two rooms I went with interior hall tile, a door and a wall tile, and I think you could do that. Switch on this edge, um, interior hall. Three of the doors lead out of the hall, one door leads to a side alley, the other two are marked one and two. Check your room key, you will be staying in room one. Place the tokens as indicated. You got the red tokens? Oh, sorry, it's over here. Right, so I'm going to go Okay, so we cram into our room and find it furnished by a long bed with a threadbare sheet and a bookshelf that holds two yellowing tongs. Letting the situation sink in, you place, place nervously around the confines of a small room, place your investigator figures as indicated. And then a question mark. You glance over what little research you have managed to gather on the Marsh family thus far. The investigator holding the old journal can review the gathered evidence by interacting with it in the app. So you have the old journal, I think? Yes. Okay. Everyone in the room jumps as you hear the sound of a handle being jiggled. Someone outside is trying to open the locked door. Place an explore token as indicated. Your eyes dart around the room, stopping at the only other door which leads to a back hall and bathroom of the hotel. Place an explore token as indicated. Oh, we get to do stuff. Do you want to go first? I don't yeah. know. Okay. So, as you get two actions. And you can do that moves, investigate, so you can investigate anything in the room, you can interact with the journal. Um, so what are the red ones here? The red ones are the things we can interact with, so we can investigate it. Can we investigate the question mark? Yep. The ginger window looks out over the docks. You want to search it? You struggle to see through the dense fog, but you believe you see a small fishing boat out in the bay. As long as the captain of that boat is not in league with the locals, that could be a ticket out of town. You will need to find a way to contact the boat, gain one clue token, and then discard this search token. So you get a clue token. I get another action. Yeah. Uh, about this one. Okay. Um, you 
Put your ear to a door, you can hear rasping breathing of someone on the other side trying to open the walk. Would you like to shout who's there? Throw open the door or barricade the door? I think I'll say who is there. The rattling stops and there is a long pause. Then a gurgling voice responds, Outsider, surrender to us. Uh, I think we should barricade the door. Okay. Looking around the room, your eyes fall upon the small bookshelf. Uh, you pick it up and mm. slam it against the door. Discard this token and place a barricade against the door. Okay, so we're barricaded in our room now. Let's see your goal. Rattling stops and you hear a girl in gurgling voice from the other side of the door. You will never escape. Give up now. A moment later, a local begins banging at the door, attempting to break through. Spawn a deep one hybrid as indicated. Oh. Then a deep one hybrid attempts to move one space into a small bedroom. One. Yeah, you need to find that one. I need to learn the way it barricaded doors. We didn't do that last time. Side, he's trying to break in. Okay, so then we need to determine the number of dice a dark mon <coughs> the monster will roll. Start with the printed value of the monster's brawn, which is two. I do not have any other abilities. So do you need to get two dice? Yeah. Should be just that sort of thing. And the other dice. And then you roll two dice and investigator can you if it gets two of two symbol two elder signs it will disregard it. Otherwise it forfeits in its movement. So it didn't break the door down this time. the right My go. So, um, I'm gonna do this one. The second door leads to the hotel's back hall and shared bathroom. I'm gonna explore that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is 
Let's say Q two D. A door to a back room. And you may move one space and fix whatever I think I will. <laughs> you can deal with a deep one when you go to a door. I'm going to check this clue token thing. An end table sits in a corner of the hallway. I will search it. You dig through bits of the drawer looking for anything out of place. Test books. Press me three dice, please. And I find nothing. Bunch of boring old papers. Oh, that's my goal. And investigator phase. Oh, both done so. A low song just beyond the edge of hearing wafts through the air. This Mephos events the affects the investigator who has the most items. One, two, three, four. I've got four. Um would you want to affect you or me? Because we get to choose on the draw. You. Thanks. Your hands become clammy and your pulse races. A wave of powerful ruinous greed runs through you. Yeah, I need to test brainy things. Will, I need one more dice please. If you pass, you master yourself until the feeling passes. If you fail, you are revolted by your own other ice and hurl some of your items away from you. I passed, just. So, it needs to roll two dice, so you want to roll again, if it gets two um, elder signs, yep, no, oh, it breaks down the door. I can re-roll. You can't, because it's not your dice roll. Um. You can add a way to modify it. So it comes in. <gasps> the deep one hybrid moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator, yeah. the monster attacks. A habit lifts a jagged piece of glass and rushes forwards, rapidly swinging at your throat and eyes. Suffer so two damage, so you get wings plus one, number of dice, and they need to negate some of it. So, yeah. four. Yeah. Can I, what do I want to roll? Hold the size. So at the minute you'd be taking one, so you could either use a clue to change the magnifying glass into um, a holder sign, or you could re-roll one. And is this then my attack? This is you defending. Oh. Um, I can spend a clue. Yeah. yeah, so you don't take any damage. So you now need to take a horror check. The hybrid's eyes are huge and black, more fish than human, so for one horror you want willpower plus one to negate. So what's your willpower for the bottom one? So five dice. You need an elder sign to not go a little bit crazy. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Continue. And then I'm not in range because I'm in a different room. Confirm. So, do you want to go first and try and beat him up with your wrench? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Attack. Um, so, what, what does it say on your wrench? 
Do you want to use that or an hand? Uh, heavy weapon. You, you, you drive your weapon towards your enemy's foot in an attempt to hobble it. Um, you need to test strength one. Uh, so you need whatever your strength is, you roll that many dice. Uh, if you pass, the figure's foot is crushed against the ground and once it suffers damage equal to a weapon's damage. Choose one. You passed. Uh, do you want to attack him again? Yes. Do you want to attack with heavy weapon or unarmed? Heavy weapon. You heave your weapon over your head and down onto your foe in the wild, widest possible swing. Uh, you want to strength, you test strength needing two. If you pass the weapon crashes into your enemy and once it suffers damage equal to your weapon's damage, push your test result. If you fail, it's too slow and the enemy dodges. It's you pass. Um, you push your test results, and you not two. So I do it four. Unless you want to spend a clue to change those ones to kill it. Um, I can spend a clue because if he dies, I gain a clue. Yeah. So I always change to um, we think it's Elder Signs and we discard the monster. The attack it collapse yeah, the attacker collapses onto the floor as he falls, something clatters from his stubby webbed fingers. Place a cold sigil unique item in the deep one hundred space. She's back again. Come on, more than zero. One. I'll spend a clue. Make it two. You find an old piece of paper on top of one drawer, a strange script, and it seems to be very out of place indeed. Gain the instill bravery spell and discard this search token. Ooh, instill bravery. Okay. Then I will go and check the bathroom. newspaper, a panel on the opposite wall looks like it opens to the other side, and it moves one space, yeah. that's me done. As Ashkan Pete is walking he suddenly trips over something and tumbles to the ground. It's a candle's common item in Ashkan Feet's space. He suffers um, two damage, but uh, Wingy Feet plus one negates. So I um, Yeah, I negated all the damage. And I could possibly find some candles. Woohoo, <laughs> candles. Sound of approaching voices outside the hotel. A small mob of shambling locals is beginning to gather. You shout words with some incomprehensible language at the hotel. Something tells you they are here for you. Discard the sight token to the south. 
of the street to and spawn a riot as indicated mm. so you need a riot monster it looks like this More people from the town continue to join the ever going mob. Fighting so many people will prove difficult. You had better evade them. So, no horror checks because there's no one within range. So, do you want to pick up the court sigil? This one here. Okay, so you get that one. And then you can either come and join me in the bathroom. I will come and join you in the bathroom. Let's best hope this leads somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I will pick up the candles. I'll get Duke to pick up the candles for me. Then I'm going to check Ratty newspaper first. A copy of the Innsmouth Tribute sits on the toilet's tank. It's over 10 years old. Oh, that seems like a waste of time. So I'm going to use a magnifying glass. Yeah, so you roll five dice. Buried on page eight, you find an article about the Marsh family and their sudden inexplicable wealth. Game a circumstantial evidence unique item and one clue and discard the search token. left so I can try and open this one. A panel on the wall looks like it can slide open. Secret passage. Secret passage. Yeah. One of these must be a secret passage. I can't find it because it's secret. Say this one. That's one of these. This is beach tile as indicated. Set this book up the wrong way around. Just a little more space there. It's good, I think it's wall tokens waiting to it. An old robot sits on the beach, where it's a search token as indicated. Secret passage here. Behind the hotel. And that one's still over here. Pier rises. Okay. 
That's it. Yeah. See what the angry mob is. Mm. William Yorick squints against even the weakest light and the pain in his head throbs in time with his heartbeat. Um, strength. So you need one to pass. It's just a distraction for you to work through. Oh, it moves out to your side. That's good. Stupid angry mob. Yeah. I'll go back that way now. Each investigator must resolve a horror check. And me phosphates. Okay, so what, what should we do? Okay. Do you want to read the journal? Because we've not read that yet. Yeah. Shall we compile evidence? Mm -hmm. You are convinced that the Merce family is gu guilty of some monstrous crime, but you cannot quite prove it. You only need one or two more pieces of evidence. Yeah, so it doesn't say anything. Like, that didn't cost an action, so you've still got two actions left. Can we go onto the beach? Yeah, we've got a lot to do on the beach. So. Okay. It's one move, so you can look at this one and still have one space to move left. Okay, I'll look at that one. The end of a beach, there is a small step up to a wooden dock. An investigator in the beach may reveal an adjacent area. Mm -hmm. On the eastern side of the building, a long dock stretches out, place a rental dock and dock two tiles as indicated. Dock. Not rental dock or dock two yet. the game incorporate the time it takes you to find the tiles. Mm, yeah, probably. Dock two. I find dock two. I think there's a fear. Matter if I moved out of it. Probably stick. Rental dock. Mm. I was just complaining about yesterday actually. Oh, yesterday. Oh. A number of robots are stacked on the dock, place a search token as indicated. Small boat rental stands on a dock that wants to be closed for a night. At the end of a dock, an unlit lantern hangs from one of the supports, place a search token. <coughs> <to fit in. coughs> Excuse me. On the other side, an alley curves around the building and out of sight. Place a side token as indicated. 
And this one goes away. So you've still got one move left. So it's up to you if you want to go that way or this way. Um, if you do one, I'll do the other one. I'm going to come this way. So I will go one, two, and I will check this one. Front door to vault temple was one painted a happy boy, but is now cracking and peeling to reveal grey wood beneath. After waiting inside the vault rental, he spot a rental workbook open on a table in the middle of the room, like a search token, as indicated. Discard this export token. Um, yeah, I will stay there, I suppose. Not been missing any collections. Right, watching where you were going, you stumble upon a sheer cliff. This Mephos event affects the investigator in an outdoor, outdoor space. And I went inside. Oh, you? crap. With a lowest eyeball. It's all of effect. I step off the edge and struggle to keep from falling. You need wingy feet too. If you pass, you reveal a drop. It's no more than a Foot and hop down. Yeah. So we got three for feet. Three agility. Yeah. It's a wing, not a foot. Yeah. <gasps> and can we roll, me roll? Is it whole dice or one dice? Oh, I just roll. Does it work at No, you need two. Um, oh, that's not working. Okay. So you suffer one damage and then flip it mm -hmm. face up. You get one and then flip it face up and see what it says. <gasps> Broken leg. You broke your leg? Yeah. Oh, you damn. fall as pain lances up your leg. When you try to stand, you fall over again. Keep face up. If you move more than a single space as part of a move action, flip one damage face up. Oh, well, at the minute, while well, you've only got that, it doesn't matter. I'm hobble along. <laughs> you are. Hobble along, Cassidy. Should have gone inside. <laughs> no, is it my fault? I was inside. You didn't tell me there was a cliff. You didn't see it. So, after Joe just broke her leg, I forget there's people watching, I need to know the chat. Um, okay, so it's your go first. In fact, end me for space, I suppose. Whatever investigator phase. So you're over here. Which one do? Um, well, I'll not move because I'm. So you can move one space and nothing happens. Yeah. Because you've only got one damage card and it's already face up, so at a minute you can still move two spaces. I need to look at this stuff. Do you want to check the old rowboat? Or yes. whatever this is. An old rowboat sits on the beach, it will not be enough to escape in, but it might get you to a fishing boat in the bay. Can I search it? Yeah. So you use your perception, observation, sorry, and tell me how many passes you get. No, no, sometimes. Okay. Zero. You 
find nothing wrong with it. He quickly pushes in the water, only to find that a hole has been breached. A boat promptly sinks <laughs> beneath the waves. No! Discard the search token. My broken leg. And no boat. Okay. Uh, that was one. Which one do you do next? Uh, the eye. The dark shape of a pier looms over the beach, and an investigator in the beach may reveal the adjacent area. It's a pier tile. And discard the sight token leading to it. This is going to be a big map, isn't it? You see a drunk old man sumped against a pier. It's a person token as indicated. Oh, so we need a pier. A clue. Over there. A waterlogged rowboat and a snack stand. I'm going to get I love snacks. And more things to look at. Okay. Just looking at what well, okay. Talking page 16. Doesn't require an action to do a side token, so you're fine. You can still look at stuff. Look at other stuff. Yeah, so you can do that red okay. um, thing if you want. Or you can move. Oh, I'm going to move to here. Yeah. Okay. And then it's me. I'm going to check this one. Workbook is full of neat handwritten notes concerning, concerning sorry, who rented which boat when. Can you pass me all of the dice? Because I'm going to use my magnifying glass to check this book. Um, let's then click the door. You find entries. Every single week, showing a member of the Mayer family taking a boat out to the Devil's Reef. Each entry has an annotation detailing strange and exotic treasures brought back on the return journey. Gain an incriminating evidence unique item and one clue. Incriminating evidence. Discard the search token. I'm going to go here and I'm going to reveal this one. Reveal it. Oh. You peer down a dark alley to the east of the buildings plays alley corner one and alley one tiles as indicated. So alley one. This one. And now he's calling one.
damn it, my stupid mop. So I <laughs> get my mop back. Is it right? Yeah. They're over here. Stupid mop. I can't go down Cotton Street. Several crates down here. Holy cow, this is a giant mop. They seem angry. <gasps> Figure peers and shower from the doorway into the adjacent place and a figure talking. You boy, what day is this? Why is Christmas Day? Another door and a side token. Uh, I've still got one movement left. Um, oh, there's a cat is moving at the same tile, so I can go. Should I come over to you or should I go over here? Uh, mm. Do you? It's good, I can't I'm gonna go. Over here. I don't want to get, I wanted to go to this one and check my bolts, but. We've got that rain on there. Then he might get me. No, we haven't. Oh, damn it. Ashcan Pete suffers two face and damage, wingy feet negates. Not feet, just wings. Ah, uh, good. Nothing bad ever happened to me. Oh, boohoo, twisted ankle. <laughs> Broken leg. <laughs> Ian's wife mobs to moves two spaces towards alley one. The hard rings with um, anyone feels sure to be swept up in the corner. Sixty of them. Damn it. And I've only got one leg, I can't even run away. Spawn a maniac in my mob space. So you need to find a maniac. comes here and goes one, two. Walking back and forth and singing in a world voice, a maniac tosses a bloody knife from hand to hand. Um, hey, brains too. I'm glad that I've got really good brains. Um, should I spend a clue and not take any insanities? Or I'll just take an insanity. Um, is it two? Uh, I've still got two clues. Yeah, I'll take I'll get rid of one. Okay. And then you don't have to test because it's not in range of you. Now I'm going to check what this one is. I am going to light the lantern because I have an oil lamp. And 
You light a lantern, it burns brightly. Slice is peeing through the fog. Out in the bay, you see a light flash twice. If you can signal a boat, you could escape. Become focused and discard this search token. Okay, so can't escape without me. I'm, I'm trying to decide what to do. So I've now got m only movement to do. So I can go here. But then I've got a maniac in the square with me. Or we could try and um, cast a spell at maniac and see what happens. Attack with a spell. A shock runs down your arm as you form the words from an incantation. Brains 2. If you pass it, channel. takes two damage and then um, for a moment I see myself in the face of my victim and suffer one horror. Discard this wither and gain another wither spell. phase again. I hope you don't break your void. Me too. The wall seemed to close in around you. Um, it, it, the me force event affects any investigators in the alley or a hall in the waters. One of the locals gathers up a tall bell tower. He tries to open, finds it locked, and able to get inside, he smashes his lantern against the door. Oh no, not a fire. I think if you got a fire, it's yeah. Darkness ones to the side. I think it's still down here. <laughs> Two spaces for the rental dock. Two spaces. Okay, so he's coming for me. The monster attacks. Then it picks up a nearby object and throws it at you. Um, wings two. Sing in a low voice. He's still just tossing his knife around. Get a grip. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I enjoyed his knife singing. Yeah, so what do you want to do now? So you can look at that one without moving, probably. What can we feel with that one? Oh. I can get around the back of one of So we need alley corner two and alley two. That makes it easy. 
Polycon 2. It probably connects here. There is a door. There's another door. That's it. And we discard that side token. So what did you want to do? Talk to the guy. The old man is passed out and drunk against a trash can. He has a silver key hanging from a ring on his belt. Steal the key. Swap him. Say hello. Uh, I'm torn between knowing it's a game and being a nice person. You can play it however you like. What would um, Warwick, Yorick, or whatever his name is? I do? think William would be nice. And he would say hello. Or the guy's past eyes, so that probably would. You wake up with a start at the sound of your voice, huh? What's going on? That was a good impression. How you get to say, may I have that key? Or alcohol is illegal, you know. Mm. May I have the key? So you need to test um, influence. Three. You can re-roll one of your rabbit's foot. Mm. Uh huh. This here is my key. You can't have it. Is what the drunken person says. Sounds just like. Okay. And my go. That was a rubbish go for me. He should have stolen the key. I've got some goddamn maniac trying to kill me. I'm going to have to try and whip him again. I don't know. I don't really want to attack him unarmed. Okay, I'm going to wither him, I think. So I will attack the maniac. Maniac. Uh, you pass me one dice, please. Yeah, yeah, I pass you there. Spell rise in your mind like a living thing, washing out at random around you. Suffer one face down damage. Stupid spells, driving me insane. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to try and just punch you in the face now. Yeah. But then the mob's gonna get me. You lunge at your foe's wags in an attempt to tackle him. Yeah, uh, you pass me in a red dance, please. Yeah, if you pass, you catch on an off balance and the weight of your body carries into the ground hard. You have to get a test result plus one. Okay, so that would be enough to kill him. Yes, that means yeah. again a quick. Yes. 
No more maniacs. No more actions for Chris. The mob's gonna get me and the fire's gonna spread. Um, should I want to pass me another fire? Which way should we move it? Do we want to go this way or this way? Uh, away from us. Although that to a person is probably going to get burned. Which way it is? Oh, that's what it is in alley 2. Is anyone in alley 2? No. no. Okay. No effect. Two spaces towards the beach. Yeah. It's moved away from you. It's coming for me. Yeah, it is. I'm going that way. I can't come down this way now. It's on fire. Uh, continue. No investigators in the space. One, two, three. You have to take a horror test. Right, we can shouting and breaking things at random in the area. The sound of shattering glass and shouting is joined by a crackle and roar of flames. Place a fire token in the space and suffer one phase down horror. More fire in the space this time. And then you need to test will minus one. Yeah. Uh, you only need one of them to succeed or to not take any horror. Here you got one. Okay. Um So I can't really come to you now because the mob's coming. So I'm gonna try and come down this way and check this one and I'll try and put fire right next to him. You need to find a way to bring the fishing boat to you before turning your turn out there. So I get eyeballs, which means I get all five dice. Stupid eyeballs. Um, I'll spend my focus. Any hold award common item. You've not done your goal yet. No. You want to talk to him again? No. He's a drunk. We'll go this way. Okay. Doing this. Doing this one. Door leaves a small room behind the hotel. The room is without windows or lights, and you strain your eyes to see inside. You can only explore if you hold a light source, and I've got two light sources. I have zero light sources. So you can't explore at all. Okay. Can I move again? Yeah, you would not suffer your broken leg because you don't have any other damage cards. And it, that doesn't count as an action. How about this one? Yeah. You want to do this one? Yeah. That door leads to a dark and apparently disused building. Why 
happy breathers? That's going to be another uh, fishman. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to leave it alone or say who's there? Uh... Uh, leave it alone. It's not bringing anyone else to do it. Okay. Fire spreads out of control. Fire is fire and a spray is adjacent to a spray containing fire. So what we're going to do is be tricksy and uh, put it here. Because then the monsters will take a damage and then take another damage when you move into it. Yeah. William Yorick glances ahead only to see himself from behind. His sight stretches thin and his mind nearing a breaking point. William Yorick suffers three horror. Books will negate. So what's your books? Three. <laughs> You've got a rabbit's foot. And the clue to take two horror. I don't like horrors. I don't like telling you. You don't have a clue. It's the first day. A few moment, a few moments of the mob began singing a horrid croaking melody. In response, the sea begins to sing along. The inhuman notes echo through the alleys and streets insinuating themselves into a minds of all who hear it. Each investigator suffers two face and horror. That's not good. Yeah, because I'm only seven and I have four. Yeah, that's not good. I have three left. Are you, have you not got the Bible? Mm -hmm. So the Bible can help you get rid of the horrors. Because you're just sitting in the Bible. You are another investigator within the from the sky one face and horror. A fish-like creature steps out of a walk that's uh, onto a beach. Star spawn a deep one, as indicated. So we need a deep one as well. It goes in here. Just coming for the rioters. So let me take a damage and another damage. Should we go towards the pier? Yeah. Um. There's two spaces towards the pier, so they're up here now. No investigators in the spot. Um, a deep one suffers a damage. Uh, I'm one, two, three away. You're yeah, one, two, three away. Uh, do you want it to chase? You want me? Uh, you, because I've got a broken leg. Okay. One, two. So you can't see the mob, so you're okay. I can see the deep one though. Moves and moments are subtly terrible to humans. Can you pass me five dice, please? Shit. Um, that's not good. Spend a clue for one of them, and then I'll go to four horrors as well. Can you seven and seven? So if you go insane, you draw an insanity, and then you have to secretly look at the insanity, and that changes what your win conditions are. So you might win if you like murder me instead of just winning normally. I was going to go and put fire out. Put the deep one chasing me there. I'm going to instill bravery in myself to discard a horror. And then I have to flip instill bravery. As you finish the spell, your body is racked with painful coughing. But oh, 
see here. One face frame damage. And I get a different, it's still bravery. Not going well. It is not. This um, game never goes well. Do we just go insane? <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna. Oh no, I think you need to take a test. Extinguisher. Well, I think there is a fire extinguisher. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> no, that's me if you're on fire. <laughs> Which I will be in a minute. Just don't roll into it. I can't really do anything else because if I move into a fire, I'll take damage later. Oh. I think I've got to go. So one, two. So I. Um, can you do? Um, So I think I should put fire here. So a demon can't get. Okay. Um, we've both got the same. So do you want it to affect you or me? With a shattering crash, a bolt of lightning strike to the earth and strikes you. Suffer so four face down damage, strength negates. So you need your strength test. Spend some clues. Try a rabbit's foot as well. Best rabbit's foot ever. So you suffer one face down damage. It means now if you move more than two, that will foot face up because you've broken leg. Two space it, so it takes a damage. Towards alley two. It's got it. So move it two spaces, Jill. The mob. Mm -hmm. Use the investigator, so one takes a damage, two takes a damage. I'll investigate from the space. Four oh, face and horror, blah blah blah, stupid brains. Uh, can you pass me three dice, please? I'm not doing well. Oh, oh that's right, No. You fail. So for one face and horror, right, okay, so that happens regardless. If you pass, you take a few deep breaths. If you fail, all painful. Flip two horrors face up. And this one. Disorientated, become dazed, and then flip it face down. And roll one fewer dice when resolving a law test, so that makes all my spells terrible. Okay, this isn't going well. And I turn again. Did I not have to do the thing? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, apparently not. <laughs> you would have had to take a horror test. Have you gone too far?
Yeah. Look at you. I'm terrible. I've missed it now. Yeah. Hmm. What do you want to do? Can I move, Johnny? Yeah. So then they've been moving two squares, so they're going to catch you next time. Do you want to do that one, not the door? In fact, that door's gone, so he must just be able to go in that door. But that would be a move, though. So. Can I have a second the question? Uh, test eyeballs. Four. <laughs> Among rope and other boating equipment, you find yes, something you could use to help you escape. Gain axe, Tom, common item. Mum's going to be no got, match for me and my axe. You've got wrench and axe. Yeah. I've got just candles. Ironically, I needed all the weapons and you needed the white sauces. Mm. You can drip wax on people. I can. Discard the search token. Yeah, so you're yeah, gonna have to stop there. Uh, I'm going to, as an action, I get to test what my set was. Forgotten me. F for fire. Test agility and can put the fire out. Um, then I'm going to interact with the boy. You boy. A young boy appears in shadow from a side door. He seems curious to what all of commotion is about to approach. Ask a boy for help. Oh joy. Influence two. <laughs> I got two. You're miles from the snack shack. I should have went to the snack shack. Yeah. We need to keep on the Hendersons to get it. Get one clue. Boy shuts the door and turns the lights off. I can't go back because the mom's there. Yeah. Oh well. I feel like that was a wasted turn. Um, I could extinguish the fire, but I probably want to meet, meet up with you at some point. So I'll move down here. Back in that square I just left. Because the deep one can just burn itself. For highest strength. Ah, uh, you took the last one out in this one. And Dares has gone away as well. When birds aren't hitting leaves, small objects, even storms at you, strength three. Okay. Yes, I pass. Keep your footing and walk worse with debris. I still suffer one face and damage. <laughs> Said times. The <coughs> writing things folk beats the walls of the buildings with boards and bottles, ascending, shattering glass, pierces, darkness. Alright, so those tokens, the fire but upside down, is the darkness ones. You want to put those into little spaces. I 
this one? Yeah. So I move two spaces so it's going to attack you. It moves into a space sharing. I don't think this is going to go well. Because you can only move one space. And they have 60 points. Hmm. 60 health. <laughs> uh, so, test wings, you need two wings. I like the woman with arms like, like ham arms. <laughs> ham ham <box. laughs> When she's in the stomach. Hash. For you. <laughs> uh, so this guy takes one damage, two damage, and then attacks. It's really dead. Mashing out with its webbed feet for deep one tries to sweep your legs from beneath you. Um, I need four dice, please. Sorry, I need five dice because of. Uh, I will design thing. So we're gonna be attacked. Oh yeah. Easy. Okay, so stupid deep one power checks me. I'm just gonna go insane, aren't I? You recognise faces within the mob, good, honest, ordinary people you saw just the other day. People who once smiled to see you now seem out of their minds with rage. How could such evil work in the hearts of common people? Suffer three face down horror with um, brains or heads negating. So you need to pass some of them to not go insane. Probably go through the door into a building and hope that the mob doesn't go in there next. Because the mob's probably just roaming the mm. right skirts here. Enemy boss phase. I'm gonna have to try and fight this deep one now, I think. We'll look at this first.
star front. Spaceport on Street Car. Oh, hello. That's why I won't pick child, I'll be stupid. So actually if I look at this stuff, the crates at the front of the alley try and not be as insane. Um, what do you think? Do I worry about the monster or just try and get around? Or? I've not got much left, I think. Yeah, kill that, I suppose. And attack unarmed, because I don't want to go any more insane. Now, can you pass me the rest of the dice, please? So I need three out of five to kill it. One out of five. She didn't spend the token. Yeah. Two. And then the fire will get it. If I put the fire in its square. No, I'm not going to spend the token. I'm just going to attack it again. It's going to get two this time. Observation. Yeah. Still must collapse and wipe me a ball, so from two damage. Mm. Yeah. Can I get a clue? You do. Okay, not really. <laughs> So that's both of my actions. What would you, you like to do? I probably should give it away this one. Yeah. Um, you, that question mark's gone and that eyeball's gone as well. I'll go in here. Okay. And then do you want to read your Bible? Yes. <laughs> or would you like to check the door? I would like to read the Bible. Okay, you sit and read your Bible for a bit. to the investigator phase. Fire spreads out of control. Uh, okay, so I need another fire talking job. 
And we're going to send it this way where we've checked everything. When the screen begins, you believe it to be a human being crying out in fear. By the time the last echo dies, you can only conclude it is some sort of wild beast, far closer than you would like. Each investigator suffers one face down horror. One, two, I just three, got four, five, six. <laughs> I just got rid of one. I'm almost insane. It's okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I moved to street two now. Well done going inside. It's got a maniac into mm. his mouth. Oops, space. We should have just had the maniac because I killed one earlier. And you've got all the weapons so you might have to fight in this guy. Okay, so he's going to go into your space. Closest, so it's gonna go into your space. Oh, there's a wall. There's a door. Mm. Yeah. So, strength test <laughs> to negate some damage. So for two or more damage, that's fine, you did not see two or more damage. There's no horror check for me, just a horror check for Jill. And then this is when I'm going to take. Have you passed? So, um, willpower negates it. Do you want to try and axe the maniac to death? Mm -hmm. yeah. Attack with a heavy weapon. Are you axe? I don't know. It should say on the card. That's wrong. It'll tell you. you need, is it say a heavy weapon? Yeah. Yeah, so we quick. Attack with heavy weapon. You take up and aim for the knees, uh, open st to stagger your enemy. You need to roll for strength, you need one to succeed. Uh, three. Um, what's the damage of your weapon? Uh, two, I think. So you could rabbit's foot, if you get another symbol, you kill him. There you go, yes. so six damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and you've still got an action left. So you Maybe. could you could Bible it up again or you could check the uh, the room. I think I'll be Okay. <laughs> you can't just sit there killing maniacs and reading Bibles all day. I just killed a man. <laughs> I need to reflect. Okay. I'll let you off. Um, should I look at the crates? I'll just go for a room. Rob's coming. I know, that's what I'm worried about. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only got one thing left as well. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to try and get inside, I think.
Oh, you've got a coat sigil, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, god damn it. Sorry. We've just had the wrong items all the way through this. Spend my clue. Um, I need a cultist model job. An old radio sits behind the front counter. Quietly hissing static. Only um, the oddities on display. Uh, kind of blah blah blah. Box catches our eye. You know it's a fire extinguisher. Yay! That's good for the hotel rooms then. Small but heavy shelf sounds, you could feed it to fortify with store should you need a rise. It's a barricade. Yes, I will move a space. <laughs> so the cultist is gonna get me. But at least a mob won't. Fire spreads, more fire. Where do you wanna put it? Yeah, uh, no, that's in the same space. It's got to go over a wire into a different one. Mm -hmm. So if it go this way, I suppose. Yeah. That's a nothing space for us. The flames sweep higher. In an open space containing fire, no effect. There's a torch common item as indicated. You're probably going to need to pick this torch up and then at least you'll have a light source. We could go back and check that thing that was dark. Mm -hmm. And again, you're just getting all of the weapons. Talking in the space with the torch as well. The hotel's gonna burn down at this rate. I've got you. Yeah, let me to here. Just attacks me. Uh, two damage. I need two dice, please. No test for you. If I fail, it's I'd probably go insane. Crap. Okay. Down to only two dice because of my stupid whatever that phobia is. I don't know what word says that can. A calculia. Yeah. A calculia. You can assume to put that in the proper order. 
You know you had this girl once, but it has deserted you. A calculia. A calculia. Okay, so I suffer from dementia, and I discard a query and fit it put it face down, I don't have one. And then I have a shrieking fit, and I become restrained. <laughs> Pass a restrained, please. <laughs> yeah, I cannot move voluntarily. Okay. Uh, sucks to be me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to try and get a cool test first? Uh, I think. I would. So you can test your agility, and then for each success you get, you can put out a fire in the space you move through. So you could test your agility and then move into the on fire square and put that fire out. So I have to roll dice. Yeah. It was free. Yep, so you can put up two fighters out that you move through. Put one, put that one out. Yeah. Do I just flip it? No, you just put it. It's your lining top. That's it. And then you don't want to move again because you don't want to flip anything. Can I take oh. the torch? Um, let's. I think it's an action to pick it up. But you can get it next time. Okay, now I'm going to attack the cultist. I'm going to attack him unarmed. <laughs> what? Uh, you challenge your enemy to fisticuffs. You fall. Yeah. Okay. Um, your four pauses sizing you up. Roll two extra dice if you suffered three or more damage. Uh, I need two more dice. I fail. You're um, My incoming fist is swapped bemusedly aside. Put him up. Put him up. Stop it. What are you doing? I'm not trying to stop you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna attack him unarmed again. Um, eyeballs. Can I get another dice, please? Crying out loud. Just die. Stupid monsters. I did nothing. I'm not restrained anymore after my screaming fit. Okay, that's both of us done. Okay, so do you want to put the fire up here then? Because we don't need that square for now. Twelve weeks unbidden into your mind. This Mephos event affects the investigator with the lowest willpower. Jill, what's your willpower? Uh, four. Mine's four as well, but I already have two spells, so do you want one? Yes. Oh, that's good. So, you attempt to decipher a spell, test your law, and you need one to pass. Three. Okay. If you pass, you realise passing it would be a terrible idea. So, you passed. So, don't cast a spell. Summon one deep one as indicated. 
Let's still hear it. On the child of the dark moon. Dear. I'm gonna go insane here. He passed me next to a die, please. Yep. So I suffer one face down damage and one face down horror. I now go insane. Insanity. I'll take this one. Look at the back of this card. Do not reveal it to other investigators. Can they drown or not? They don't like to look. You can't see. You can't see? It's okay, I mean, they're dead anyway. Mm -hmm. Deep one moves two spaces towards the investigator. The nearest investigator is up to you, so it moves two spaces down to a dark alley. Two spaces towards me to investigate now. Can you up on me? Mm-hmm. Just bash on my guitar, I set dog on him. In a single fluid motion, the child of Dagoon is climbing your hands, find a way around your face. Your foes muscles tense in an attempt to crush your skull. Suffer three damage. If you suffer one or more damage, you can't escape for his grasp, become restrained. Can I get two more dice, please? I think you got dice. How would you say that? Mm -hmm. Not I uh, suffer so one damage. One, two, three, four, five. Got two left. Mm. Uh, and I become restrained. has got the highest horror rating. White musky warmer fills the air until strength three. Okay, so I fail. I don't have any horror to flip face up because you just go the old when you went insane. And then suffer one face down horror and I become dazed as well. I need to come and help me <laughs> with your broken leg. Oh, horrible, as fast as I can. Okay. Um, you want to get the torch and come into this room? So I think we want to use this radio to try and call the boat, probably. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to try and kill that bloody cultist. I suppose I could start casting spells again. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, oh, it's no attack. I passed this because it's free damage. I'm going to attack it again. As the store of crumble steel grind, his dagger falls from his hand with a clatter. Place a ritual dagger coming at him in the focus space. Yeah, I'm gonna knife that other guy. Real good. It's really annoying going through this deck and seeing like Tommy gun, shotgun. <laughs> I'm like, I've got candles. <laughs> Four candles. We've got any four candles. <laughs> candles for forks. Okay, so my restrained and dazed goes away. And that's just done again. Fire spreads out of control. I'm gonna burn this part alive. I think you pass me another fire token. I'm going to put it here and just burn the mob. For every corner of the earth, I'm just held with pain inside. Yeah, none of us are outdoor. Oh, it's only one. One, two, takes two damage. It's only got 60. 55 to go. Two spaces towards the nearest investigator that moves into the alley corner tree. The monster attacks. I need five dice and I just need two successes. I should have left it. Yay! Finally, something good happened. I'm going to resolve a horror check. I pass that one. Your dice on fire now. Yeah, still fine. Duke boy, go and get me the knife. Yay. No, I want the knife now, I think. I'll fire up some shit. No, fire up some shit. So if I just keep this guy busy attacking me and manage not to die somehow, you should be able to go here, interact with her, and then be in the, hopefully the correct space for next turn. So I'll, I'll try and stab this guy up a little bit. I will attack him with a bladed weapon. Plus the chest is also agility four. Damn it! I failed. He definitely dodges. I'm attack him again with a bladed weapon. Failed again. I'm really good at this game. 
Mm -hmm. The bestest. Okay, here we go. It's just a door, so it's not there anymore. So, if you want, you could come in and you, and flip one of your things face up, and then you'll be able to do a radio. Grievous injury. You clutch at the wound and your hand comes away red with blood. Resolve immediately, suffer one additional face down damage and flip this card face down. Okay. So we're both pretty beaten up now. Mm, so we're wasting The radio crackles with static, then you hear a voice. This is Captain of the Lively. Mm. I am currently moored in a bay in spite of anyone there. If you want to say... Can you pick us up, or where are you from? Can you pick us up, let's get the hell out of here. Craven, is that you? The captain must have been expecting someone else. Should you tell him your situation? Not sure if I want to take on unknown passengers in the middle of the night. How do I know I can trust you? So you need to take a influence test. Rabbit's foot it. Rabbit's foot. Oh. Still two. I'm supposed to pick up Agent Craven. I will come and pick you up, but I need to find Agent Craven and bring him with you. For short pause, continue speaking. I cannot see through this fog. White a lantern on the dock where you want me to pick you up. Ring the fog bell when you are ready for me to come. So we've lit the lantern already. So we need to find the bell thing. So it's probably something over here. Yeah. Because that was the one we didn't get to. I can go to try and kill this one. I'm going to kill this one. Sorry, I'm going to mob. Well, the mob will keep going round, I think. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep circling. So that's both of us done. Mm. The fire spreads over control. Um, do we want to keep it coming this way or? Yeah. I suppose. Well, yeah, I'm trying to go over there, so. Yeah, so you press me one to put here. We've got a fire extinguisher, so we should be able to do something. Oh, you passed me, it's me with three. Four damage, that'll kill me. Oh well. Are it's fun while it lasted. Are you dead? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just can't pee. I'm a bit of dark. I live a happy fish man filled life. So. You're not a child of Devon's baby? I have to carry on. Yeah, you have to see if you win. Oh, let's see, we've got one turn. <laughs> Can we get the fire extinguisher? Yeah, I'll show it. Shall we? Uh, <laughs> I can run outside into the mob and just. Oh, yeah, so I went there. Uh... Oh. The only best we get is. Take a piece of gra glass and rushes 
So the three damage wings negate. You only had three, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Two more damage. Oh. One damage. It's a horror Jew. Mm. One. So you suffer one face and horror. No time for reading Bibles either. Mm. And let's check the journal. Okay, so that's me, Foster's finished. Ash can beat dead. What? Are you gonna use the thing again? What? Yeah, so you get a fucking signature. It's not like we can win that. No, it is not. Realising you intend to escape, the mob descends on the docks. They tear planks from the wharf and set fire to the boats. With your only escape cut off by the crowd, you flee inland, running through the claustrophobic streets. Suddenly, you're confronted by a large group of shambling locals who descend upon you. Countless slimy hands pin you down and bind your limbs. Once secured, you're dragged through the streets towards your gruesome fate. All the while, the locals stare after you with large, unblinking eyes. Oh well. Oh, we lost all that time. Mm. And energy. And we didn't win. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good going, good going. <laughs> oh well. We were so close. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think we needed like 15 more people. Yeah. It's probably hard to do that with you. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I think. I think it's two hours we've been playing. So it should be fine. I think we'll just call it there. Okay, everyone. So. It wasn't the, planned, the plan we had for the show tonight, but we were supposed to be playing Heroes of the Aturi Cluster, but it wasn't to be, so we decided to play something uh, different. But next week we should be doing um, some casual X-Wing, and then we will be trying to do uh, Assassination and Execution Force. I think, and then Malifaux the week after. So, some different things coming up, but thanks for watching everybody, and good night. The dog's got me trapped, so you'll have to go and turn it off. I've gone quickly stop streaming buttons.